Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use variables in your Python programming. Now this is pretty easy, but it's also a very essential part of programming. Now before you watch this, I recommend that you watch my past three tutorials on printing, comments, and uh, math functions because those will all be uh, useful right now. So what a variable is, is basically a shortcut to information that you made yourself. So if you've done anything like algebra, you pretty much know what a uh, variable is. So let's say x is equal to, I don't know, uh, put it in quotations because it is equal to words and not another variable. So we'll do x is equal to hello, oops, and then now x is stored in there as hello, and then we'll do y is equal to world. Now we press enter, that's stored. Now if we do print and then x comma space y, we get hello world. Now here's what's going on. Print is telling them what to do. That's why I told you to watch my tutorial on using print. So it's saying I want you to print the value of x. So the value of x is hello. So it printed hello. And then this comma says, okay, well, now that you've done that, I want you to print the next thing as well. So that's how you can use multiple variables in the same, like, string or line of code. What if you want to do math functions with what you've assigned as variables, though? Well, that's pretty easy, too. We'll do q uh, is equal to uh, 30. And then we'll do s is equal to uh, 2. That works. Then we'll do s, well, we'll do print s times q. Now what that's going to do is say, I want you to print the value of s times q. So it's going to take the value of s, which is 2, multiply it by the value of thir uh, of q, which is 30, and we should get 60. And there you go, we got 60. Variables are really simple, but they can do a lot of useful things, especially when you learn later on in uh, my tutorials about inputs. Variables become very essential. But variables just make things a lot simpler. Because if you're going to be using something a lot, then you're going to want to store it as a variable that way you don't have to type out print like let's say you want to say print hello world ten times you would have to do something like print hello world and then enter print oops hello world over and over and over again you see the point well, what you can do is say, and here, here's your next little lesson about this, is you can reassign the variable. So we'll just have x is equal to, and then hello world, and then press enter, and it's stored. So what we're going to do is say print x times 10. And what you see here is something kind of strange, because you can't multiply words is you can't multiply a letter by a number unless that has a value of another number so what it does instead is it makes that string that many times but you see here how it's kind of like all clumped together what you need to do is this little trick we'll have x is equal to and then quotations hello world my bad world with a capital w just to spice things up and then do a exclamation point and then a space. Press enter. And now if we do print x times 10, we get hello world with this little space here so that it's easier to see th things. And that's kind of a little nice thing, especially if you're just messing around. And you don't have to type as much and you can just make a really pointless program that'll just print things over and over and over again. So 
it's very important to know how to use variables. I recommend that you do this by yourself and try and learn how to manipulate them, how they work, so on and so forth, and then go on and w watch my uh, next video. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment with any questions you have or any comments on the video. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe for future videos. That's where I get support and you guys get to see all the future videos without having to do anything. So, I'll see you guys later.